Well, I was supposed to get this song out before my shoulder surgery. And that was on Tuesday. It just didn't happen. Every day that I thought I would do it, I was just exhausted or in so much pain. And then by the very last day, I thought, okay, I have to get it done today because God had put it on my heart that you needed to hear this, that you needed the song. And no matter how you're feeling, no matter what your problems are, you always have to remember as a servant of Christ, Christ always comes first. Well, my computer like crashed on the last day and I can't get any emails out to people. I've lost some friends that I'd like to just send little notes to, but the family and everything just kind of went wrong. So my surgery was this last Tuesday. This is Saturday. Um, this is my sixth shoulder surgery on this arm. I've had three on this one and shoulder surgeries are extremely painful for the first two or three weeks. And uh, so God says in our weakness is when he can show his strength. I want you to know that there's this huge world up here and we know everything that's going on right now with everybody in Israel and Palestine, everywhere, Ukraine with God's people in Ukraine and and yet he had an eye for you he said Gloria I need you to send this message to you and I don't know who you are all I know is that you're supposed to have this message in Matthew it talks about Solomon King Solomon was like the richest man and I mean he could have wore anything he wanted to look good it says even Solomon in all of his glory didn't look nearly as beautiful as the beautiful lily of the field. And it said that the birds, they don't sow, they don't like, they don't put seeds in the ground and they don't reap and yet your heavenly father feeds them. And it says, aren't you more important than a bird? I just want you to know, God had you in mind. And I'm trying to do this. You have to understand, I just had surgery with a tube down my throat, so this has nothing to do with Gloria's voice sounding good. This has to do with the message that God is sending you. That He loves you. That He sees you. That He hears you. And we're going to try to do His Eyes on the Sparrow. I haven't done it in years. And um, we're, we're going to work on it. And hopefully... The message will touch you in your heart where you need to be and just know that God, God is with you every moment of the day and night. And that in this whole big wide world, He heard you and He's answering you. I pray that you will find comfort in what's going to be done. In Jesus' name I pray this. Why should I feel discouraged? Why should the shadows come? Why should my heart be lonely? long for heaven and home when Jesus is my portion my constant friend is he his eye is on the sparrow and I know he watches me. His eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches. the spare
because I feel pretty cruddy right now. <laughs> but when I'm singing this song, I am filled with the Spirit and I got the power of the Lord. So just remember, no matter how your weakness is, the Lord is your strength and the Lord is your joy. God bless you. <laughs> 